Hi there everyone, welcome back to Engineering Pritam and 58th video of our PTC Curio Parametric Complete Core Series. Today we are diving into cosmetic thread that you can find here in Engineering section. A simple yet powerful feature in Creo that keeps your design efficient and professional. And before I jump into it and show you how you can utilize it, let's also understand what exactly is cosmetic thread. You may think it of as a lightweight way to present thread features, for example, like screws or tapped hold as well, without bogging down your model with complex 3D geometry. It is efficient, parametric, and follows standard specification like ISO or NC, perfect for high performance assembly and detail drawing. Now let me quickly show you how we can utilize it. So for that, let me uh, plot a feature here and probably it would be extrude. And now uh, we can keep it any depth. Okay, so now I would like to showcase a hole here, okay? And instead of traditional hole command, which you can find it here, I'm gonna use this cosmetic thread. So let's click on it. Now let me select the starting surface where I would like to keep it and also the threaded surface. Okay, so after creation of this feature, all we need to do here is uh, probably I can add another feature here and let's say there is a circle of whole dia 10 mm and let's say distance is 50 and 55 and let's click OK. And now I'm gonna give it a depth of 25 mm and let's click OK. Now again, I'm gonna go back to engineering group and here let's select this cosmetic thread. And now I'm gonna select this uh, surface where I would like to add it and then the starting surface. So this is my starting surface and this the internal surface here is where I would like to add it. Now all we need to do here is we need to add pitch. So I'm gonna add, let's say, a uh, medium pitch, which is 1.5 for size 10 mm. And then from here, we can control its tire. So you can make it 10 or you can increase it, let's say 11. And now you can see the third dia is 11 mm and the whole dia is still remain 10. Now let me quickly click here on display style and make it wireframe and there we have it. Now you can clearly see the hole having threads. Now whenever you go to create drawing out of it, um, let's see how it look. So I'm going to select any format and now here also we can see it can be easily recognized as hole. Now let me go back here on view and close it and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a reverse of it. In this particular case, I have added thread to a hole. This time, let me quickly create an extrude here again. Um, cylindrical style and let's again make it, uh, for example, 10. And let's make the height as 25. Now click OK. Again, I'm going to go here in engineering and then cosmetic thread. And this time I'm going to select this outer surface. And you can see it here, it is able to recognize the dia and now it is suggesting us to make the dia as 9, which obviously you can change based on your requirement. You can also define the pitch, for example, again, let me put 1.5. And not only you can do like this, but you can also go with standard size. So here you can define ISO, UNF or UNC. And then you can also define the thread size. So in this particular case, I was going with M10 and probably uh, let's go with M10 into one. Now again, I'm gonna define the starting surface and probably the depth. So let me make it five and there we go. So in this way guys, also we can define the cosmetic thread in our geometry. In the end, I would say cosmetic thread might not be that flashy, but they are designers best friend for keeping model lightweight, especially in case when somebody is using a very old hardware. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then hit that like button and subscribe to Engineering Pritam for more content like this. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.